Hello everyone, this is Dennis, VE1XT, here again with another video on log for ohm Today I'm going to give you an overview of rig and cat control using the OmniRig uh, library rather than the HamLib library that we used the last time. I bring this up mainly because I did receive a comment on my previous video from G4POP, who is one of the one of the guys behind the log for ohm program, and uh, he mentioned that uh, we could get the dual VFO uh, display, as you can see in the top right corner here, by using the OmniRig uh, rather than HamLib. So I figured why not uh, give it a try and uh, post a quick video. I'm not going to go through all of the configuration and everything to the depth that we did the last time, um, but I will give you, you know, what you need to kind of get it going. So as you can see, there are already one of the main differences here is with the radio, you can certainly see uh, both the VFOA and VFOB. Um, great for, you know, if you, if you use both VFOs in your operation or if you're working split or whatnot, you can see where each VFO is tuned. And you'll also see that uh, with the OmniRig, you also uh, have the ability to set up two simultaneous rig configurations. Um, I currently only have one HF rig and one USB to serial connection, so we only have the one for now. But uh, so we'll keep it simple and short. Um, again, we have to go through uh, settings and options. And under the cat and cluster menu item here, we will select OmniRig rather than HamLib. Um, I generally leave the settings the same as we discussed the last time. And uh, then we click save. Now, um, when you first bring it up, um, there will be a different menu under the little headset here. Um, here's where you can define your different rigs. Um, <clears throat> the rig one here, which is what I have defined for my 570, I just I, I realized I had to use uh, the TS440 rig type uh, mainly because the 570 is not listed here directly. However, the protocol for the CAT and the um, the rig control is basically the same. Uh, I haven't found anything yet that doesn't work with the using the rig type of 440, so I assume that is pretty much the same. As with HamLib, we also have to set the COM port that we're going to use as well as the baud rates, data bits, parity, stop bits, RTS, DTR, and the polling interval and whatnot. Um, basically, I left these all at default. So when I selected the 440, all but the COM port were left at default. And it just so happens that I'm connected on COM6 at this point. Um, so you select the COM port, the appropriate baud rate. So far, I found 9600 works just fine with my rig. And uh, RTS and DTR were both set to high leave it like that and uh, once you click OK um, you can select your rig A or rig 1 and you'll immediately see the VFO I don't have my webcam pointed at my radio this time but here you can see if we do uh, change bands we see uh, VFO A changing if I press the A equals B button we'll see pretty quickly that VFO B highlights or switches frequency to equal what was in band A or VFOA. And we can also see when we turn the tuning knob here that uh, the frequency changes as well. One other thing that I did find with this is that the response time for pulling the radio and getting the data back when you're uh, tuning or changing bands or whatnot is actually much quicker with this Omni rig um, library. So that's another advantage as well. The push to talk, everything all works just about the same. There's no other additional configuration or anything that you really need to do, except for one thing. When you install the application during the initial installation program at, at towards the end of it, it will ask you if you want to install the OmniRig uh, libraries. And if you haven't done that, uh, then probably what you'll need to do is either go back to your original installation file or go to the website for log for ohm download the latest version and um, either upgrade or just do a reinstall but make sure that when you run through this install again you click uh, the option to install the omni rig libraries otherwise um, when you select it in the settings menu you'll get an error that says omni rigs not correctly installed or not installed something of the sort so that's uh 
basically all there is to it, the features such as cluster scanner, uh, the cluster double clicking, all of that all works the same. But like I said, I do find that it's much quicker sending to the radio and much quicker receiving back. And I also noticed as well is with the HamLive software, I did have an issue where off and on it would, it seems like my rig would just freeze where it would no longer uh, be responsive to any of the commands coming from the computer and it would no longer, the computer would no longer receive any of the, the frequency updates, you know, while tuning the VFO or changing bands. With this Omni rig, I haven't experienced this yet, and I've been using it for a couple of days, and so, so it seems like it's going to be much better. So I think I'm personally going to stick with this. Um, I do like the idea that it shows both VFOs and uh, the response time and everything. To me, it's just a given. So for now, we'll leave it at that. Um, thanks everyone for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, anything of the sort, suggestions for future videos, by all means, please post them in the comments section below. And uh, also, if you do like the videos that I'm doing, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, and uh, we would enjoy seeing you back in future videos. Thank you very much, everyone, and 73 for now.